my name is Emily and welcome to Secret Parents. In today's video, I'm super excited to unbox and make a super fun project with you um, using this Hobie yarn. And so this is, um, this whole thing started when I got an email from Hobie saying that they are doing a knit, a, a campaign called Knit With Your Bestie. And uh, this campaign is all about using their friends line of the Hobie yarn. So they basically said that you can choose any friends line of the Hobie yarn um, that you want. So you can choose any yarn as long as it's in the friends line. And so I chose some yarns that I'm super excited to share with you. I've never um, used like a ribbon yarn before and so that is what I got in this bag and I was trying to think of what would be a good project to use with this ribbon yarn and I think I've decided on my chicken purse which you can see is behind me. This I made in faux fur and then this I made in like a worsted weight yarn. And so my plan was this is a number six super bulky weight yarn, the um, ribbon yarn is. And so I'm hoping that it will make a larger size chicken purse like the faux fur one I did right here. And so, but we'll just see how it works out. And then they also wanted us to use two different um, yarns that were also part of the Friends yarn, but were different. And so I am planning to use two different yarns for the little um, comb at the top, the little red part, and then the little beak. So I'm super, super excited to dive into this video, unbox this yarn that has been sitting at the front door for a couple of days. And so let's go ahead and jump in to opening this yarn bag. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut down. And we will see what we got. Um, I have, like I said, never used any kind of ribbon yarn or like t-shirt yarn for crocheting. And so when they, when I saw that this was an option as one of their friends yarns, I was so excited. So that was what really convinced me about doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and here's the bag. Opened it up. Ooh, this is the friends yarns or the friends ribbon. So it's 100% cotton. And you can see it's kind of this beautiful cream color of yarn. Let's see, so it's Friends Ribbon, it's 100% cotton. And let's see. I really like the feel right off the bat. It feels really nice and soft. Um, and yet it feels like it will be pretty nice and durable. So it's 100% cotton. It is 125 meters or 136 yards. Um, they recommend a size 12 millimeter hook, but for this pattern, I used a seven millimeter hook because it's a bag, so you want it to be a little bit tighter. So I have a feeling that's what I'll be using, but again, that'll be later on, I'll start making this, and so we'll see what I use. Um, and what else? This is in the color 03. I believe this was just called cream, or no, oat milk. That was what this was called. Um, yeah, it looks really, really nice. Um, it's made in Turkey. Where is its care instructions? It looks like you're not supposed to machine wash or dry it. That's what it looks like. But um, I'm really excited about this. This is looking really soft. So you can see that it is like a ribbon. So it's kind of like a tube shaped yarn. And super fun though. Like. So it's like a tube that is really cool. It's almost like knitted together. Okay, so I got one ball and then another ball and then another ball of this. So I got three balls of this cream yarn. So super excited to try that out. Super, super excited. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, and then I got two different yarns for the um, Mohawk no, sorry, the comb, and then the beak. So this is what I got for the beak, and this is Friends Wool. It's 100% wool. It feels really nice. I would say it feels kind of like wool. I actually have not used much for wool, so I can't, I'm not a wealth of wisdom about wool, but it feels really nice. And, let's see, it is a number four worsted weight yarn, and this, if I remember right, 
was in, yep, this is a number six super bulky weight yarn, this cream yarn was. And then this is the gold for the beak, or yeah, the beak. And it's a number four worsted weight yarn. 100% wool, it is 109 yards. I would say like, I tend to use a lot of like Red Heart Super Saver yarn. And I would say it looks maybe a tiny bit, like a little bit of a thinner worsted weight yarn, but not by much. I really actually like the thickness well, really well, because sometimes it can be so thin and like almost shiny that just is really, it's like using a number three weight yarn. So I really like the thickness of this. This is number color number 13. And I don't remember what this color was. I think it was called, oh, something like burnt mustard or something. I'll put um, what the name of this yarn is on the screen because I can't remember. But this is also Oweka Tex, so it's a hundred, like, it's been certified Oweka Tex. It's a standard 100, which I really like because I'm, um, I have eczema issues, and so that is a plus to me. This does not say it has that, but I'm not too worried. I think this will be fine. Okay, and then the last yarn that I got for this project is the, uh, the yarn for the comb. So let's figure out it out. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, so this is Friends Kid Silk, and this is super thin yarn. Okay, so it's color number 42. And this is yarn was made in Italy. That's super fun. Let's see. What else? It says it is, it says it's a zero lace yarn. So it's a super thin yarn. I plan to use several strands of it probably to make the kind of the thickness that I want for the little comb. And so I'll probably have to use like, I don't know, like three or four strands at once. But it recommends a four, no, a five to five and a half millimeter hook. So that means that it must be kind of lacy because if you can see, these strands are absolutely tiny. They're almost like thread, but they're fuzzy and it's so cute. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, it's kind of like a mohair. There you go. It's like a really fuzzy, pretty yarn. Anyway, this is, looks super fun to try. Um, it said it is 72% mohair, 25% silk, and 3% wool. This is so fun. Okay, so I probably will have to use several strands, but I'll share more about that as I'm doing the vlog. But it's like a super, love the texture. Like a really fun mohair yarn. I've never actually used, I've used a lot, a lot of faux fur yarn, but never really a mohair yarn. So this is gonna be so fun. I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and jump into me making this chicken purse and we'll kind of see how it develops. All right, so I'm now down in my area that I like to crochet at, and this is the ribbon yarn that I already mentioned, but this is the um, Hobie Friends ribbon yarn, you can see. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start by making like a little swatch, um, or maybe just start by making the front panel of the chicken purse, and then I'm gonna just kind of see how um, the uh, tension of the purse is. So I wanna make sure that it's not gonna be too loose, that stuff falls through, and I don't want it to be too tight that, um, it's like super tiny. So um, this is a number six super bulky weight yarn and the, pa the pattern was originally designed in number six super bulky weight yarn. So you can see I made it in this brunette blanket yarn and in this faux fur yarn um, and both work perfectly. So this is also number six super bulky weight yarn. So it should be the exact same, but you know, there's always a variance. So I'm excited to see kind of how it works. So I'm gonna start by make, using my seven millimeter hook um, which I'll just grab from here. And this is, that's the same hook size I used for the other two chicken purses. So I'm gonna start, let's see. 
it says, I'm curious to see if they have kind of a center pull or if I'll have to pull from the edge. One sec, okay. It looks like, looks like the center pull might work, but it looks like I would get a big yarn mess. So I'm just going to start by pulling from the outside, I think, because otherwise I'm going to get a huge yarn tangle. Yeah, so I'm just going to start by doing the outside, and that just might be one of those things that this kind of strange ball of yarn has to offer. So I'm going to just go ahead and tear along this little, where the tape is. There we go. And I'm just going to be pulling from the outside. So there we go. Here's the little starting strand. And you can see that's basically just like, it looks like it's a knitted tube together. So if I, you can kind of see that it's just like a little fringe at the top. And yeah, so I'm super excited to start. So I'm just going to go ahead and start my pattern. And there, of course, is the full uh, chicken purse tutorial here on this YouTube channel. Also, there's a free blog post, and I'll link all that below. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start. I would feel like it's a little bit thinner than the other super bulky weight yarns. So I'm curious to see how it will work out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I believe I have to chain, I'm checking my pattern. Yep, so chain 20. And so far it's looking good. It's a little bit different. I've never used ribbon yarn before, so it does kind of like twist a little bit. And you can kind of see that. So we'll see kind of how as I start working back how that works. But otherwise it's working really well with my Clover and More hook. But you're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. Okay, so I'm just going to continue um, some stitches and I will meet you back and kind of show you my progress and what I'm thinking. Um, I feel like this is thinner yarn like I already mentioned. So I wouldn't be surprised if I have to size down a hook size but we will see. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of experiment with this yarn a little bit more and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I've just done a couple more stitches um, and I'm actually really liking it. So it's definitely a different look because like I was kind of in my brain comparing it to like the uh, Lime Brand Woolies Thick and Quick that's kind of like a more of a, just a regular super bulky weight yarn. And I would say this definitely has a different look but I think this is actually a pretty good hook size. We'll see, I'll do a couple more, or I'll do actually a couple rows, but so far I'm liking it quite a bit. I feel like it looks pretty good. It's pretty thick, like it's not, um, there's not a lot of holes so far. And yeah, I think I'm liking it. I like that, I like the different ribbon yarn look. I've always wanted to try ribbon yarn so badly and so I'm, Super excited to be trying it. All right, so a little update. I got a couple rows done just while I was hanging out in kind of evening time, so the lighting is probably getting worse. But um, while I was hanging out, I just got some rows done, and I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. I'm personally pretty happy with it. It's by no means perfect. I feel like um, it could be a little bit better. I'll, get, I'll give you a couple of thoughts in just a second, but let me first show you it. So this is what it's looking like. It has beautiful stitch definition. Okay, let me move that yarn tail away. There we go. Very pretty stitch definition. Um, and you can see I had just started this row. That's why there's that little lump. Um, but yeah, I would say I like this quite a bit. I would say that working with this yarn is actually really nice. It's not like a really rough yarn. I was kind of wondering if it would be a really rough yarn. But I would have to say that once I'm done with it, it feels kind of rough. So, like in this ball, it feels really nice and soft. Um, but then once, and while you're working with it, it feels really great. But then once you have it like this, I feel like it feels kind of rough. Um, let me look at the fiber content again real quick. It says, 
100% cotton. So maybe that's just cotton. I really don't use cotton much. I normally just use either 100% acrylic or like faux fur yarn, which is like 100% polyester or microfiber. And so maybe that's just the difference of using cotton. But I do feel like working with it is really lovely. Um, but then feeling it, it's pretty rough. So you wouldn't want to have this like as something that's like on your skin. For sure not. But for a blanket, or sorry, for a purse like I'm making it, it probably is pretty good because I think it's going to be nice and um, a stiff material. And you can see that there are some like holes when I hold it up close, but I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like there's a couple more holes in person. There you go. Than showing on the camera. But I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm still using the 7mm hook and just doing my normal tension and just following the pattern. And I would say that it's turning out pretty good. Um, for like, for thickness wise, um, there are some holes, but I feel like that this is just kind of that yarn that's always going to have some holes, just like any piece, any work has. So I feel like this is just kind of how it's going to be. And I feel like if I were to size down a hook size, it'd get hard to work with the yarn. Um, like the, it, I wouldn't be able to pull this through, like I would be slipping, slipping. And so I feel like this is actually a really good balance and it's not perfect, but I like it a lot. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun making it. Um, I would say I'm a little disappointed with how rough it feels when it's worked up, but um, it's super fun to work with as you're working with it. So the crocheting part is amazing. The final product feels a little bit rough, but not too bad. So I'm gonna keep working on this little chicken purse. I'm going to finish the front panel and then I'll probably plan to meet you back and um, share a little bit of insights and then work on the second panel. But we'll see kind of how the evening unfolds here at our house. So, all right, I'm going to um, meet you back in a little bit. All right, so it's actually a different day even though I'm wearing the same shirt. But anyway, um, I wanted to come on and show my progress. So last night I was able to get both the front and the back panel done. So you can see that's the front and then this is the back panel, and then I crocheted the two panels together. So the front and back panel, in case you're not watching the uh, tutorial for this, the front and back panel are both the same, so they're the exact same. So once you have one panel done, you just repeat the exact same thing for the back panel, and then you crochet around the panels. And of course, you don't crochet on, at the top. And I have pictures in my pattern um, showing you exactly how to do everything. And obviously the tutorial will show you it. So you can see that this is gonna be the chicken purse's head, or the chicken's head, um, where it's a little bit higher. And then this is its um, tail area. Then you can see I crocheted around there. And I actually really like the border that kind of gives this chicken purse. So that is that. So I done now the front, the back panel, and now I crocheted around the edge. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to chain 100, and you can see that I just did that here. So chain 100, and then you're going to slip stitch, I believe it is, yeah, slip stitch to the front or the top of the other side. So you can see I started from here. So once you finished your edging, you do not you do not tie off, and instead you just continue. Um, so you just chain a hundred, then start working here, and now you have like this whole purse loop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, first do my slip stitch into here, and then I'm going to single crochet back um, back over this hundred stitches or hundred chains. So. Now attach it, then cr single crochet back over all the way down to back to here. And then we're going to tie off, then we're going to make the little front wing pocket and do that. And then of course the little comb and beak and eye. So we have lots of things left to do, but I would say that the bulk of the work is done now that I have this done. So I'm really liking overall the yarn. Working with the yarn is um, lovely. The only, my only complaint is when you're done, it's pretty, it's not very soft at all. Like if I'm to touch, this is Bernat Blanket yarn. This is way, way, way softer than this. Or even 
obviously the faux fur is softer or like lime green will ease thick and quick would definitely be softer but I have a feeling this is gonna be super sturdy because it's hundred percent cotton and I believe that's a sturdy yarn right and so yeah I'm super excited actually with how it's turning out it's so fun trying different yarns and I definitely like I definitely like working with it it's very fun and just a fun different texture of yarn to work with so I'm going to now continue on um, finishing up this purse handle and then yeah I'll meet you back in at some point and show you my progress all right, so it's officially the next day and I have been working on my chicken purse. I got it done last night and um, of course I haven't tied in the ends, but I wanted to come on and share kind of my final thoughts about the yarn, um, about how I, how many strands I use for different things. I just kind of wanted to come back on and give you my final uh, thoughts. So the first thing I wanted to mention I think I'd already said that, but I got the little pocket done for the uh, front. Then I did the um, comb, which you can see it turned out really fun in person. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but in person it's really fun and like fuzzy. It's showing up a little more bright and um, fire engine red, and in person I would say it's a little bit more of a, um, like a burgundy color you can see this is what I had used in the past this was um, Red Heart Super Saver in the color I think it's called burgundy and then this is the um, friends can silk and you can see so it's a little bit more of a red color like a true red in the past I'd used more of a like a a little bit of a darker color but I still really like this I absolutely love the fuzziness of it. I feel like it just adds a really fun little like halo of fuzz that normally isn't on um, your little comb. So I really like that. I did end up using 10 strands to get about the same thickness as my two strands of worsted weight yarn that I had recommended for the pattern. So here on this um, faux fur chicken purse, I used two strands of a number four worsted weight yarn, which was um, lime, or no, sorry, not lime brand, Red Heart Super Saver. So this is two strands of Red Heart Super Saver in the color burgundy, I think. But then this is 10 strands of um, Hobie Kids, uh, Friends Kids Silk. And you can see it has such a fun little fuzzy halo. So, so cute. So. You can see I just combined the 10 strands together oh, like that and I really really like how it turned out. So all I did to combine them was I just started with the two ends from both the like the center and the outside of this like donut and then I just went like this and then I went back and fourth and I was getting two strands each time so then when I got a total of 10 strands and I didn't know exactly how long of course like so it's nine double crochets for this top part so I didn't know how many like yards exactly or how much I would need of the 10 strands but what I did is I did about one arm's length and then I did a little bit more so like like a half an arm more so it turned out being plenty and then with the 10 strands I really like the thickness that was originally I tried 16 strands because I was just goofing around and didn't know how many strands I need and it was way too big <laughs> it looked ridiculous so that's what I did for the comb then for the little beak um I did one strand of the Friends wool, this yarn, there you go, you can hopefully see that there, um, and I really like how that turned out as well, um, yeah, so you can see that is what it looks like in the finished product. I don't feel like I sewed it on the best, so I might re-sew that on a little bit later, but otherwise... I really really love how this purse turned out then the last thing I want to mention is that when you're done with this strap like we are 
I slip stitch it to the side so that it's nice, it's gonna stay straight. But then on this side, when we had done this original slip stitch and then started working back with the single crochets, you it will twist around. So what I like to do is I like to just find a spot and like um, just whip stitch with my darning needle like once, just so that it stays in the same spot and it's never curled or never twisted strap. So that's what I like to do. And yeah, I use a 12 millimeter safety eye and I normally just do the one side, although you could easily do the other side if you wanted to too. So normally I just leave this side blank and then this side is the side that has all the fun stuff. So yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. I definitely really enjoyed working with this Friends ribbon yarn. So it worked up really nicely. It does feel kind of, like I mentioned before, kind of rough, um, but I think it's gonna work perfectly for um, a purse because it's gonna be nice and sturdy. It feels very nice and sturdy. Um, then this um, silk yarn I absolutely love. I have tons of it left over, obviously, because we didn't use very much at all. So I'm not sure exactly what I'll use with this, but I really love the feeling of it. And then obviously with the friend's wool, I just did the little beak. So I have lots of this yarn left as well. So very fun project. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of me making this adorable little chicken purse. And if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly crochet tutorials. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.